Hi, my name is Mark Joseph and I'm a South Florida family law attorney. And here are five things you should know about paternity in Florida. When I talk about paternity as it relates to Florida law, I'm not just talking about whether you're the father or not. I'm talking about how Florida law describes and addresses the paternity of a father within its rules, the rights and responsibilities. A lot of people believe that just because the father is biologically there or biologically is the parent, that that's it. However, there is so much nuance in the state of Florida as it relates to this matter that things can happen that you're not even considering until it happens. So if you find this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified for when we put out more videos. The first thing you should know about paternity in the state of Florida is that it does matter if you're married to the mother or not. Florida law, regardless of how you feel about it, as it currently sits, addresses a married husband to a woman who has a child and the father to an unwed mother differently. If you are married to the mother of the child, you are considered legally the father. However, if you are not married to that mother, you are not considered legally the father of that child. Even if you're on the birth certificate, you actually would have to file what is called an acknowledgement of paternity, which you would have 60 days to revoke. And even then, all your rights as a father is still not even acknowledged until a petition is filed in court. I'm gonna try my best to get into as much of that as possible in the other facts, but this is the first thing that is so important to know about paternity in the state of Florida. The second thing you should know about paternity in the state of Florida is that the birth certificate doesn't always matter. I get this comment all the time, from the YouTube comments to my consultations. Just because you're on the birth certificate is not the done deal in every case and circumstance. In fact, typically speaking, being on the birth certificate will allow you to be presumed the father for purposes of some things, but it doesn't establish your paternal rights, it doesn't establish your access to the child, and it doesn't access or prevent the mother from making any decisions without consulting with the person on the birth certificate. It also allows the Florida courts to automatically establish child support on that parent. However, does it in and of itself establish those rights when child support is put on that parent? Essentially, the main thing you wanna take from this is that the birth certificate and signing it is not the end all be all of establishing paternity if you are not married to the mother when the child is born. Now, a bonus fact to this is that if the child is born out of wedlock and that that father signs the birth certificate, if you subsequently marry that woman, then you do get the protections of being married and all those rights are automatically established. The third thing you should know about paternity in the state of Florida is that being the legal father and biologically the father are two different things. There are a lot more cases than people tend to admit where you may have one parent who is legally declared the father, however biologically isn't the father. You would typically have this happen when you have a woman who is married to man A, and whether separated or otherwise, gets pregnant by man B. Under Florida law, man A is considered legally the father, and man B is at most biological. However, man A has all the rights and responsibility 
to the child, even though it's biologically man bees. It is so important to note that if you are in a case or have a similar fact pattern, you want to make sure you understand the nuance of the law to disestablish one parent and establish the other if you choose to do that. But it's not as simple as just swapping one out with the other. But there are legal procedural mechanisms that you want to follow to disestablish one parent and establish the other if you choose to do so. These are one of the few category of things that I definitely say that you do not want to do without legal representation. The other thing that I wanna note about the legal versus biological parentage is that it can definitely get a lot more complicated when you start looking at certain considerations such as same-sex couples and other non-traditional marriage structures. So also keep in mind that if you have one of these unique set of circumstances and you really aren't sure about how to go about it, you definitely want to consult with an attorney. The fourth thing you should know about paternity in the state of Florida is that Florida is not for or against dad. I know I'm going to get a lot of comments and responses from various people talking about fathers in the state of Florida, and even horror stories. However, how Florida law is written, it is honestly not for or against the father. Florida law is written for the best interest of the child or children. And the best thing I suggest to anybody, consultation or not, if you are a father in the state of Florida, especially if you are having a child with a woman and you're not married, I always say, try to be as active as possible. And if you do have those concerns, make sure you document your activity. And I know it sounds a little bit more paranoid. However, one thing I always tell my clients, I'm not ever here to tell you your best case scenario. Usually I'm supposed to tell you what, how bad it can get so you can prevent that. One of the ways that I can suggest being active and involved is to be honest, coming up with a schedule and plan with the child. If you're not with the mother, try to get at least some organization as to what days your child will be with you and what days your child will be with the mother. I understand how it's just easier to try to just make it flexible and liberal. However, if the matter ends up in court and you can't clearly document the days that the child's with you versus the other parent, you're probably gonna have a harder time in court. And in my experience, the parents who can clearly show that they were actively involved have the easier time. Also, be active in appointments, activities, and just be otherwise involved. Try your best to be at as many of the child's special events as possible. Try as much as possible to co-parent with the other parents and just try to do all the things that in reality you're going to do anyways. Just make sure you're conscious about it so it's not a, something that you have to fight with the court later. The fifth thing you should know about paternity in the state of Florida is that you want to make sure it's established to protect your rights. I talk about in the previous facts about how being married to the person or not can affect your rights. I talk about how the birth certificate may or may not affect or determine your rights and how if the person is married to someone else or not can affect your rights as a father. However, what is most important is to make sure that your rights are clearly established so that they are protected. And when I say protected, I mean the right to be able to be involved in your child's life is acknowledged by the courts and can be enforced by the courts. Yes, there's the responsibility of child support that comes with it. However, at the end of the day, one of the most painful things to have to go through and navigate in my time as a family law attorney is having to explain to a father who has truly been active, been involved, have a role, and tell them that their rights are limited or sometimes non-existent because they didn't do what they could have done before it got to this point. The advice that I can give to 
anybody watching this video is to be proactive. You're here now watching this. You obviously want to learn a little bit more about it, but be proactive. Do not wait until there's a case filed. Do not wait until the other parent moves out of the court's jurisdiction. Do not wait for something serious to happen before you jump up and establish those rights. Whether you agree with Florida law or not, that is what it is. And you want to make sure that your right to be involved in your child or children's lives is respected, acknowledged, and protected. Now, because you watched to the end, I want to throw in a bonus fact about paternity in Florida. Did you know that there's such thing as an uncontested paternity action? I talk about the importance of establishing your rights as a father. However, do you know that whether you're with the other parent or not, even though you're not married, you can still actually establish those rights? You don't have to wait until you guys are broken up or that there's some controversy before you establish your rights as a father. There is actually a process in which you and the other parent can agree on the terms of your rights as a father. And it could just be as simple as establishing you formally as a father. And if you guys are living together, guess what? You don't have to establish a full parenting plan and you don't even have to establish child support because in the state of Florida, if the parents are residing together, child support's not even an issue at that point. In fact, my office specializes in these type of uncontested paternity actions. And we very regularly help parties through the process of getting an uncontested paternity action completed, which allows us to establish the father as the other parent, establish very simple, straightforward terms in which shared parental responsibility is acknowledged, and that there is a document in court that the parents can go back to should they have any issues. When I tell you this is one of the best ways to navigate your co-parenting relationship, I have not had an issue as of yet with two parents who come together this way, who even after breakup are not able to resolve their issues without going back to court. This is the perfect example of being proactive which can help you save tens of thousands of dollars in legal fees and so much stress. And your children benefit so much more. So if you or anyone you know is having any paternity issues, divorce issues, child support, or family law in general, please contact my office. We'd love to sit you down, have a consultation, and help you out. My name is Mark Joseph. Thank you for watching.